Who's going to jail over the scandal? Speaker John Boehner wants to know. So what has to happen to clean up at the, the mess at the IRS, and who is ultimately responsible before we start hauling anybody away? Let's bring in our political panel. David Drucker is senior editor of Roll Call Magazine, Democratic strategist and formerly Hillary, former Hillary Clinton presidential campaign staffer Tracy Seffel, and CNN contributor and Republican strategist Anna Navarro. These IRS staffers' jobs aren't just on the line. The Justice Department is opening a criminal investigation into this Tracy, the White House says they were unaware of all of this. President Obama is right now meeting with Treasury Department officials. He's given this to Jack Lew, the Treasury Department Secretary, and said, you handle this, make sure that we handle this right. How can he distance himself in a way that is believable? People don't seem to, even John Stewart was turning on the president saying, oh, he learns everything from the news. Uh, how would you recommend? Well, I can't let that video clip go that you just showed of Speaker Boehner because his comments right there showed what shouldn't happen. And what shouldn't happen is that kind of overreaching, inappropriate, hyperbolic language. What should happen and what is happening both at the White House and hopefully among a bipartisan Congress is that there's uh, an investigation that's being facilitated and supported. No hyperbole, no overreaching, no hysterics, but a careful and facilitated investigation with bipartisan support. Anna, is, this a, is it overreaching by Speaker Boehner to, to talk about who, I want to know who's going to jail? I think it's an expression of frustration, frankly. We've seen scandal after scandal and we've seen little consequence for it. We've had four Americans dead in Benghazi, we've seen little consequence. We've got this now. We are tired, I think, of people going on TV and saying, the buck stops with me, I am the responsible one, hold me accountable, and then nothing happens. So I think that's what you're hearing from him. But I also think there should be more hysterics in the White House. And frankly, I think President Obama should be very upset if, in fact, the White House knew since April 22nd and he learned it from the news. That's either unbelievable or unbelievably incompetent by the White House staff that's keeping Obama on a, what, the top of Mount Olympus listening to harp music while all types, types of things are going down with the mere mortals. That's just unacceptable. That's a nice evocative image. I, I appreciate that. David, we know that uh, the White House Counsel's Office was advised by the Department of the Treasury Inspector General uh, that prepared this report on the IRS, uh, that this report was coming out. Uh, we are still told by the White House that the Council did not tell that to President Obama. How are Democrats handling this on Capitol Hill? Obviously, Republicans are are outraged. And I haven't heard a lot of Democrats coming to the president's defense or saying that the president is doing a good job handling this. Jake, this is the first time we've seen, I think since the president's been in office, where uh, congressional Democrats have joined with Republicans in criticizing the administration and promising to try and get to the bottom of something. You know, it's, it's typical for your party. If your party is in the White House, you don't want to cause that guy a problem. And that's just the way things go. In Washington, a lot of, of politics is situational. A lot of ethics is situational. But you saw with Max Baucus, and more importantly to me, Harry Reid, the Senate Majority, saying, I support Max Baucus in trying to get to the bottom of this. That's when I knew that the dynamic in trying to figure out what happened with the IRS is going to be a lot different than Benghazi and a lot different than other things that House Republicans have tried to get into. And I think what's important for the president and we've seen in the past, presidents, when you have a scandal or a potential scandal, like to pretend they didn't know something. That's how they can distance themselves from in, in any way approving of what happened. Right. But then you look as though you don't have control over your administration and that you're an incompetent manager. So if I was the president, what I would do is be very involved. And when it comes to this IRS investigation, be involved, want to get to the bottom of that, make sure the American people know that. Um, and in a sense, take ownership over a problem that is under his purview ultimately because it is the executive branch. And let's talk about where this IRS controversy scandal is going now because I've heard a lot of Republicans this week say this has huge ramifications for Obamacare, for the health care bill, because the IRS will be playing uh, a role uh, when it comes to the tax that individuals will have to pay if they do not get uh, health insurance. And the administration is going to face right now, the, the Congress is preparing to vote again after three dozen, more than three dozen failed attempts to repeal Obamacare. You've already said that you think this might be a little bit of an overreach, but do you think that this IRS scandal has impact, will have impact on Obamacare? Yes, I do. I think, look, I. All of us can identify with this IRS scandal, and I think it's why it's having such repercussions and crossing the line. Because in life, there's two things you can't avoid, death or taxes. 
And all of us have, there's some certain mistrust. I think nobody likes signing that check over to the IRS. And so you have a certain mistrust for that agency already. And to see what that, what's happening is very concerning for all Americans. Because look, there but for the grace of God, go I. This could one day be on the other side of the aisle, so we cannot let this precedent stand. Nobody can. I do think the Obamacare votes have become symbolic. We get it. Republicans don't like uh, Obamacare. I would say to my people, let it get implemented. There's going to be plenty of problems with it. People are going to scream bloody murder, and then we, we're going to have to fix it. All right, I have to leave it there. Tracy Selfel, Hannah Navarro, David Drucker, thank you so much.